Oh, and don't forget to swish and flick the shit out of your wand like this. <laughs> Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers, how you all doing? So this is the Destreza Prime, our primed pokey stick that came with, of course, the Limbo Prime Access. Now, it's better than the original Destreza by a decent amount, stat-wise, but is it enough to make you want to actually use it? And are rapiers the melee weapon for you? They're fast, accurate, but also have a handful of issues that other melee weapons don't have. Now it is one of the weapon types that a lot of players in the Warframe community mentioned when Damage 3.0 was spoken about a very long time ago by the developers. Rapiers would have been greatly reduced damage wise because of the forced slash effects and how they were going to be changed with Damage 3.0 and players didn't want to lose their pokey stick fun which is understandable. Vulpine Mask the stance would have greatly suffered but now they seem to have scrapped damage 3.0 system for now hopefully it won't come back but all is well and happy in the land of warframe right now now the Destreza prime looks fantastic i don't think there's many of you out there that would disagree with me on that the gilded handguard the kind of doubled bladed needle for a section of it anyway and the fact that you can whoosh and flick the shit out of it Akio bomb. But as powerful as this primed melee weapon is, and it is insanely powerful with the right build, it's definitely got some issues that other melee weapons don't suffer from, and it will stop me personally from using it. So it's a mastery rank 10 crit based rapier with the highest shared crit multiplier of all melee weapons in the game at 3.0. So there's a few different melee weapons with that crit damage multiplier. It's got an okay status chance which could allow you to build it for blood rush and condition overload if you wanted to. It's quick enough, but Berserker sends it completely into overdrive and it's got a four star Riven disposition. So you can get an absolute killer Riven for this weapon. But my issues with this weapon is that its range is absolutely terrible. So you will need to be on the toes of your enemies in order to deal with them. Rapiers have no real momentum as well and it feels like it can only target one or two enemies at a time. If six enemies are in front of me, I want to be able to kill all of them in two or three hits, which I can't really do with the Destreza Prime, but a lot of other melee weapons can do that. But I think the issue with it feeling like it can only solo target is down to its crap range and the fact that it doesn't really have any large swipes to its combos. They're all kind of pokes and thrusts. But like I said, it's not a bad weapon. Far from it, it's incredibly powerful. And these issues are probably me just being a picky potato. Now, the relics you need to farm the Destreza Prime or to get your hands on it are the Neo B5, the Miso D2, and the Axi O3. Like I said in the last Primed videos, you can just jump into your codex, click on those, and it will tell you which missions those relics actually drop from. So let's be honest for a few seconds. I think we all know that the real star of rapiers in Warframe is Vulpine Mask, the stance. It gives a lot, and I mean a lot, of forced bleed effects on enemies from combos and strikes, and that's why these weapons are so damn good. And having a high critical chance weapon and watching those massive bleeds tick away is what I personally like the most about the Destreza Prime. And if you do decide to mod it for a combination of condition overload and blood rush then it will kill high level targets in a few quick easy strikes. So they're a good weapon but the stance is definitely what knocks them up a notch and if they had have changed the forced bleeds or how they worked with damage 3.0 then it definitely would have killed off the Destreza and definitely the Destreza Prime as well. So this is my Destreza Prime build. Now ignore the former amount that I have on it because I put an extra one on to try and see how the sacrificial mods would look on this weapon and basically they ramped up my crit chance to about 50% which was nice but Blood Rush just seemed to work better. Now I've gone for a Blood rush and condition overload hybrid build with berserker for more speed organ shatter for more critical damage and viral to reduce the health of my targets so that those slash procs can melt enemies even faster but of course you can mod it however the hell you want to because this is my weapon you go ahead and mod your own now let me know what you think of the Destreza prime in the comment section below whether you have it or not whether you're liking it or not do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always Thanks very much for watching.